let's talk about <laughs> the big hack. So what we have here is essentially a bridge known as wormhole that bridges between the Solana network and the Ethereum network. And we have a basically the largest hack ever that has been uh, been attempted, succeeded, and not returned. So that's really what we're talking about here. I did initially want to say the largest DeFi hack ever on the title, but I refrained because I know that technically there's one that is larger. So it's not the largest, but it is the largest that hasn't been returned, okay? so. Let's get into this. this is coming from Coindesk. Blockchain bridge wormhole suffers possible exploit with worth over $326 million. The popular bridge for connecting Ethereum Solana, and Solana and more is now attempting to negotiate on chain with the hacker. One of the most popular cross blockchain bridges may have been the victim of a hack worth over $326 million on Wednesday. In a tweet, the project's official Twitter handle confirmed that the bridge is currently down while the team investigates a potential exploit and the official website simply reads portal is temporarily unavailable. Let's open that up just for, it looks like it's back up because I know they were working on getting it back up and we'll talk about that too. On-chain analysts called attention to an $80,000 ETH transaction. I think that is still up here. Right there, yep. Uh, from Wormhole to an address currently in possession of over $250 million worth of ETH. According to another developer, the attacker also kept 40,000 ETH on Solana where they have been selling for other assets. In a tweet prominent pseudonyms paradigm security researcher Sam Sizun, Sam CZ Sun is what we'll say noted that the wormhole team has reached out to the exporter's address on the Ethereum network offering a 10 million dollar bounty uh, for returning the funds and I retweeted this tweet yesterday and uh, essentially what you have is that um, let's see so they put this in the messages on the chain and they were saying, hey, we'll give you 10 million. But like right now they have 253 million in that that address. So I don't know. Plus more really because they have the other 40K on Solana still. The hack raised alarm in DeFi circles because it now means ETH has been bridged to Solana may be unbacked. And this is what happens. So, um. For the bridge to work uh, or function properly, uh, the there needs to be a one-to-one -one supply of ETH to whatever the wrapped ETH is on Solana. And because of the potential hack and then that getting sent out, essentially what could have happened due to the hack is that you don't have a one-to-one -one backing of the wrapped ETH on Solana. So it's pretty bad for that network, okay? Um, cross blockchain bridges often work by taking an asset such as ETH and locking it in a contract to issue a parallel asset on the bridge chain. It is not immediately clear what the ramifications for Solana lending markets and other protocols might be if ETH issued uh, if the ETH issued by wormhole cannot be bridged back to the Ethereum main chain and is now valueless. In an interview with CoinDesk, George Harup, founder of Solana DeFi platform Step Finance said he expects Jump Capital, which purchased wormhole developer Certus One in August 2021, to step in to backstop the hacked ETH. If not, he added a number of Solana-based platforms that accept ETH as collateral may now be partially insolvent. Quote, if nobody backs it and the coins are truly gone, then wormhole ETH is worth zero and everyone who has a balance of it becomes worthless. DeFi protocols, users, and everyone, he said. In a follow-up tweet, the wormhole confirmed a total loss of 120,000 Ethereum and said that funds would be added to the bridge to backstop the wrapped ETH on Solana. So it's clear here that they did need to back it. And in this tweet from wormhole, they said that basically they have added over the next hours to ensure that, here we go, uh, that the ETH is backed one-to-one. -one. More details to come sh shortly. 
and they are working to get the network back up. Let's go see if there's any more updates as far as this goes. They did say all funds in wormhole is back up. All funds have been restored. Um, let's see. Vulnerability was patched. ETH contract has been filled one to one and the portal is back up. I don't know if they actually got the ETH back. So I don't think they did. I think basically all they did was essentially fill it back up so that it's not worthless for the users, which is good, good on them. Um, it still means though that it's technically the largest DeFi hack. If you look at the top 10, we have Pancake Bunny at $45 million lost. Uranium Finance at 50 million. We have Belt Finance at 50 million. BZX at 55 million lost. Easy Fi at 59 million lost. Badger, Badger Dow at 120 million lost. Paid Network at 127 million lost. Cream Finance at 130 million and Compound at 147 million. Now you did have this Polygon Network uh, at 610 million, but it was returned. And that's why I said, technically, this is the largest DeFi hack that was not returned. Pretty crazy stuff. So uh, we'll be monitoring it. We'll see if the hacker decides to white, white hat it or whatever, and go ahead and give the funds back in return for 10 million. Uh, that's kind of not a good idea. Um, you wouldn't accept the money, I don't think, because I think you get in trouble for that. So, I don't know if the hacker's watching. Just give it back, but don't take the $10 million. I think you get in trouble there. I think that's one of those trick things they do to you. I'm not sure. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show. Every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.